I've done better in other episodes. Yeah, you're sweating, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to our sponsors at Rugged Radios, you can go to their website and enter the code FASTRADIO for a discount. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to TFL's original game show, Is It Faster Than a Ford Fiesta ST Classics Edition? Because today, we're going to find out just how far we've moved the needle in terms of automotive development. Because today, we've got a very special contestant. Nathan, tell them what we're playing for. You're playing for pride. It's something we all need. You need it, I need it, people on the streets need it. You have to hold your head up high to maintain your pride and that's what we're playing for. Let's meet today's contestants. First we have a brand new Ford Fiesta ST and then we have a 1971 Volkswagen Super Beetle. Now this contest seems hardly fair, but it's not about which car is faster, it's about how much faster because today we're gonna find out just how much Automotive technology has changed in uh, maybe 50 years. Andre, tell them what's under the hood of the Ford Fiesta ST. It's a technological marvel. 1.6 liters, but almost 200 horsepower. A lot of power density. And of course, all that power is funneled to the front wheels, but not with this classic Volkswagen. Michael, tell them what's under the hood. What's under the hood is a... <clears throat> It's a storage compartment. We have to go to the back to see the engine. This is where the good stuff happens because under this trunky hood thing is a 1.6 liter, naturally aspirated, horizontally opposed, single barrel carbureted engine that in its best day made, oh, about 60 horsepower. Now, who knows, but at least all that power is going to the rear wheels, which are located right under the engine. Wait, do you mean it's the same displacement? Same displacement, but no turbo. Huh. Wheel of Destiny Selections. There's Switch, that's switching drivers. Drag Race, that's pretty self-explanatory. Hot Lap, getting around the track as fast as possible. Zero to 60 fully loaded, that's maximum passengers shoved inside the car and the best zero to 60 time. Jeff, our big teddy bear, used inside the vehicle for space. Fuel economy, three laps around the track, measuring the fuel economy. Rev battle, you rev it for good sound. All right, boys, let's find out what the first game is. And as in life, the Wheel of Destiny is rigged. Andre, spin the wheel. Does it even matter anymore? Well, does it matter in life, Andre? Does it really matter in life? Because the first, yes, the first game is a rev battle. And let's see which one of these sounds better. Wow, this is going to be interesting. What I love about the Fiesta is that it actually lets you rev it to the red line when standing still. That's really rare and awesome. Oh, Matt, there's no tack. You, you don't need to film anything up here. You know, since the outcome of this episode is sort of already predetermined. Let us know at home which of these 1.6 liters sounds better in the comments below. All right, Michael, let's find out what the next game will be. Please spin the wheel of destiny. It just, it doesn't matter, Roman. I'll just do this for you. Here, here, we're just gonna go with that one. That's right, Michael has figured out that it's not how you spin it, but where it lands. Drag race it is. So Andre, what's how, up? how are you feeling about this race? I feel really, really good, except for the uh, rev battle. Mm, but you see here, you see my shirt? It says racing. Dude, but the Fiesta ST has like a hundred years of high technology baked into it. Yeah, but I've got another trick up my sleeve. Oh! Where, uh, it's that I have only one mirror, right? So the, my right side is, is aerodynamically efficient compared to your two mirror setup. You have me there. Fiesta. You yeah. have me there. I think you're going down. You're gonna have to, you're gonna lose. Plus, Michael, you've got much more aerodynamic tires, I can tell. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, low rolling resistance, 
Little drag on the tires. Lightweight. You're you're going down, Andre. Your car is a lightweight. Yeah. Oh! Hey, Michael. Should I give you like a five-second head start? Really? Wow. We're going there. Five seconds. Have you ever seen the movie Herbie? Y yes. Well, what they don't tell you in that movie is that Herbie had a cousin. You know what that cousin's name was? What? Felix. Yeah, you're going down. Okay, it's on, dude. It's on. But you're gonna lose. You're gonna eat my fweem. Oh yeah, are you ready for that? On! Shit! Wow. Okay, I'm done. Wait, where's Michael? Are you doing okay? I think you got an unfair head start on that one. You know what? Your car is just cute. But listen, Andre, it's not cute, it's classic. There's a difference. As always, is it faster than a Fiesta ST? Is brought to you by our friends at Rugged Radios. If you'd like one of these for your very own, just click on the link below and use the discount code FASTRADIO for a significant discount. All right, Andre, go for it. Well, there we go. What do you feel like doing, Andre? Um, I want to set another lap record. So, hot lap. It is, there you go, congratulations. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, it's not what you know, but who you know. <laughs> This poor Fiesta has had a racetrack life. Are you ready, my man? Yes! You think that you can go twice as fast as a Beetle? Uh, that's gonna be tough, but, eh, yeah, maybe. I'm throwing down the gauntlet, Andre. I wanna see you, I wanna see your time be exactly half of the Beetle, so that's your goal. Well, I tried my best. Yeah? What do you think you did? I want to do, um, I wanted a 109, 110. No. What? 12? Yeah, 112, 25. Uh, which, uh, I know I can do better, but I've done better in other episodes. Yeah, you're sweating, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, now the challenge, of course, becomes if my man Michael can do Double that, would you? You're the mathematician. What's twice that? Well, 225. 225! 225 is a goal for the Beetle. Let's see if he can do it. 225. Are you faster than a Fiesta ST or a 71 Super Beetle? One way to find out. Visit IMI Motorsports and tell them TFL sent you and you could rent this track and maybe go even off-roading at a significant discount. Are you seriously worried about rolling it? That's, isn't that the danger? No, this thing, this thing does 40 I mean, horsepower. Obviously, I'm not going to roll it. Oh, uh, yeah, got pieces falling off here. Yeah, there's a bit. Well, I don't know, it's, it's, it's weight savings. Yeah, get rid of that. So, it's not going to roll. Uh, you might lose brakes. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't what over else am I going to lose? <laughs> don't overheat them. All I'm saying okay, is don't right, overheat I'll them. So, so, Michael, you got to go 225 or faster. I think that's doable. I think that's attainable. I think that is attainable. I mean, it takes about 30 seconds to hit 60. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a 1971 Super Beetle versus 
a brand new Fiesta ST may seem like it's not fair, but they both have 1.6 liters of displacement. The Beetle has been raced countless times. It has. And it wins. It wins all the time. All the time. All right, 225. Okay, that's your goal. We got this. Yeah. And just put on your belt just in case the brakes oh, go. Oh, yeah. I'll, yeah. All right, let's get it. Let's go, Felix. Pinnacle of motorsport right there. I should replace Paul. Okay. All right. What, my, what? my goal yeah. was to be under two minutes. So you had to be 225. Uh huh. Guess what you got? 211. Your time, Michael, was 1. Whoa! 40. Oh. Way! 0.20. Oh. Yes! You that's smashed nice. it. That's great. That's really not that bad. That's pretty bad. That's no. pretty slow. Felix smashed it, dude. Felix did great. I was leaning in the corners. You know, you gotta shift your weight, make sure you don't roll. The brakes did not overheat or die or fail in any way. I was gonna say, swallow your pride, but maybe not. Maybe I should be more prideful. Well, that was certainly an interesting result. On today's episode of Is It Faster Than a Fiesta ST? Come on over here, boys. Yep. Uh-huh. Well, Michael, actually, I think you've won. What? Some pride! Whoa! Nathan, tell him what he's won! Congratulations, Mike. You maintained a little tiny bit of your pride. Hold your head up, but not too high because, well, you are still slow. And Andre, I kind of feel like you lost some pride. I made a couple of mistakes on my lap. I definitely lost a little bit of pride. Well guys, there you have it, the difference that about 50 years of technology makes. It's not as much as we thought. It's like 30 seconds? Yeah. Ish. And, well, the drag race. Well, we'll forget about that. Dude, yep. it's a one mile track, and one maybe mile. I might have won the rev battle, maybe. W one mile. We'll see, I don't know. We'll see, because let us know in the comments below which one sounds better. As always, this is Roman. And Mike. And Andre. Saying thanks for watching. Remember, come back next time when we find out is your everyday car faster than a hot hatch? See you guys next time. Ciao. Would have won that one, but yeah, Felix. Uh, Felix is. That's okay, Felix. I don't care. You're still good. Still a good car. <laughs>